Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Audition CC 2019. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use a new punch and roll recording feature released by Adobe in the April 2019 Creative Cloud update. I am in the multi-track of Adobe Audition. I am editing this podcast and I discovered a mistake. Released in March of 2019 by Adobe. It's supposed to be released in April of 2019. For that, I'm gonna use the punch and roll. So I'm gonna drag the current time indicator or the scrubber to the beginning of that little segment. This is called the punch in point because we're gonna punch in the new recording from here. With the current time indicator at the punch in point, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna click on this R so you can arm this track for recording. Then you're gonna come down to the record button. You're gonna right click on that and choose punch and roll mode. You'll see an arrow over the record button when it's in punch and roll mode. Now it's time for roll. When you press the red record button or use the keyboard shortcut shift space bar to start recording, before it starts recording, you're gonna get a five second pre-roll or a preview of the audio before the part where you're gonna punch in the new audio. This is great because you're gonna be able to hear the cadence, the tone, the volume, the energy, so you can match that when it comes time to record. The default pre-roll amount or the preview of audio that you're gonna hear before you punch in the new recording is set to five seconds by default. If you wanna change that, you can do so up in the audition, preferences, playback and recording. You'll see right here, pre-roll duration, you can change that to whatever you want. You can also do the punch and roll with video. And if you have this checked, you're gonna get a visual timer that counts down from five seconds or whatever you have this set. And now it's time to go. We have the track arm for record. We have this down here set to the punch and roll mode by right clicking on the record button. You're gonna press this again to start recording or use the keyboard shortcut shift spacebar. You're gonna hear the five seconds of pre-roll. Then when that's done, I'm gonna start recording. So here we go. 2019, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the new punch and roll feature released in April of 2019 by Adobe. Spacebar to stop so you can record take after take until you get your punch in just right. All the takes are just gonna sit right on top of each other. You see here, this one's just sitting on the original, so that's untouched. All of your takes are gonna be over here in the file panel. When you find the take that you want, you can just delete all the other ones. To really speed up the punch and roll editing, I'm gonna create a keyboard shortcut for what is called punch again. To do so, you're gonna to go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, do a search for punch, right here, punch again. Mine is set up to option command P. So here I go, I'm gonna press option command P, and it's gonna jump right to the beginning of the pre-roll. 2019, so use your punch again keyboard shortcut whenever you wanna quickly start the punch and roll process over again. That is the new punch and roll in Adobe Audition CC 2019. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.